Hi everybody, this is Pramika here and I'm doing a flip of my planners. This is the third part whereby I'll show you how I did set up my two Webster's pages. Uh, I had been requested uh, to show this, but somehow I always get, you know, distracted and I don't get to doing, don't get to do this. But I thought it's high time I did show this. Now I did buy this from a pre-sale um, that the Webster's pages had and um, from um, a friend of mine she's called Beth Solar she has an Etsy shop rock your notebook I think um, and she sells some awesome inserts and stuff like that so this is how my planner is set up this is my on the go uh, planner sort of thing because I can't carry this thick uh, B6 wide because it's too big for me to carry about I don't like to lug bigger things so so this is what I carry when I when I'm out and about so this is a traveler's notebook in pocket size and this has been decorated with all the planner society kits uh, and a few other stuff that you will see um, so this is a backer card I have I have some money over here and some stickers no note uh, sticky notes and this is a tag and uh, nothing is fixed over here like everything is removable and usable this is a dashboard I made uh, using the laminating sheets and this is once again a cover these are all fixed with paper clips I've just arranged the die cuts in this way I did do a sh um, setup video of my chic sparrow pocket size but I've just changed the cover basically nothing else has changed uh, I do have a pocket full of few stickers this is a perpetual calendar I keep yeah this is a perpetual calendar I keep and um, it works for me it's very organic I just write down the dates and that's how I do things. Here is a sticky pocket we got from the kits, um, Planner Society kits. And I have used just some uh, die cuts to decorate the covers. This is a vellum piece and this is a journal that I have over here. When I'm out and about, I need to put down something, I journal over here. Um, so here I have painted a few flowers and sometimes I use some stickers also this is a very writing based journal no decoration nothing so this is that and this was made from you know off cuts of papers so this is a very odd size it's neither the passport size nor the what do you call it pocket size it's smaller than that so here I have a few stickers and once again a dashboard I made with pockets and this is my planner sort of thing which I was trying to do uh, some of my planning I do have it still over here but maybe I'll move it later on I do have a few stickers and an acetate piece where I have just attached a die cut and this is a folder that I had made I do have a few stickers over here and some over here so that's how simple it is I don't want try to fill this up too much because this is going to be my on the go planner sort of thing planner journal whatever and here's the pen matching pen and that's that so this is my on the go planner journal slash everything because I don't like to carry around my uh, foxy fix it's pretty big um, and the next is my work planner this is absolutely functional it has no frills you will see and um, yeah though I say that but it opens up to all sorts of beautiful die cuts these are all from planner society and this is an acetate from planner society these are all fixed with paper clips and everything is removable this is a folder I made I have a few stickers over here this is a book page bookmark this is a perpetual calendar I keep uh, this is a random notebook I have I don't know why it's not focusing 
this is a random notebook I have this is a folder I made to just to keep some stickers in uh, which wraps around this insert it's made from packaging and it works out fine this is a vellum piece from the planner society kit and this is my another insert which is basically my you know writing what's going on log sort of thing I maintain a log for my work so I just jot down the basic thing it's very simple very uh, writing sort of thing I don't use too many stickers in it because uh, you know it doesn't make any sense so I have a few post-its over here very functional I have a few washi tapes over here that's all and this is a journaling card I have laminated from this uh, graphic 45 paper pack it's called secret garden so that's all I have in my um, journal this planner and uh, usually I keep them tucked inside so if I need I can take it out you know use it as a writing board maybe and um, at the top this is a paper clip from uh, planner society at the top I have a few uh, charm sort of thing danglers attached to a paper clip and I keep it like so because I would not want to put anything through these strings so if I don't like this I can just simply take it off or if I want to put it then I can just you know put it like so so it can work like this so I like to keep things very removable you know sometimes when I'm not in the mood I can just take it out so that's how my work planner is and at, in the front I do have a few things going on so here is um, a, a tag and a few die cuts acetate and what I've done is I have a page mark somewhere here yeah this is also an uh, you know laser cut envelope sort of thing that we received in our uh, planner society kits what I did was I keep some syllabus of my students over here some notes or something and this is also a page marker this is made from a dashboard from the Heidi Swap memory planner I think I did buy that long time back and I had the dashboards you know the clear dashboards acetate pieces so I've just chopped off the rings uh, you know the whole section and perforated one and I've just made it into a tab over there as you can see file tab sort of thing I hope you can see it and it works as a page marker so it works fine for me so basically this is how my work planner looks like and it's pretty functional and I don't like to keep too many things in it um, so that's how my planners are I hope this has been <laughs> uh, this has solved some sort of mystery because I have been asked uh, quite a few times before to show the planners but I somehow never got to doing that so I hope uh, uh, you people like this setup or maybe get inspired but it's how I do things you know I try to keep it as simple as possible and because that works for me so bye now see you later bye